Have you ever felt like you're standing on the edge of greatness, but something is holding you back? A precipice of potential, a chasm of uncertainty. We've all been there, haven't we? That feeling of being so close to the summit of our dreams, yet an invisible force seems to be pulling us back, rooting us to the spot. Imagine for a moment a young girl named Lucy, a prodigious violinist. Lucy had the skill to make the strings sing like a nightingale. She had the passion, the talent, the drive, everything she needed to reach the pinnacle of musical excellence. But as she stood backstage, minutes before her first solo concert, fear seized her. Doubt whispered in her ear, telling her she wasn't ready. She wasn't good enough. The stage seemed a million miles away, the audience a sea of judgment. Lucy could have given in to that fear. She could have walked away, let her dreams crumble into dust. But she didn't, because within her there was a spark. A spark that refused to be extinguished by the gusts of doubt. A spark that roared in the face of fear. It was the spark of belief, the spark of courage, the spark of her dreams. And she chose to listen to that spark. She stepped onto the stage, her fingers danced on the strings, and the music that flowed was nothing short of magic. She was shaking, yes, but each note she played was a testament to her courage, her refusal to succumb to fear. She was the manifestation of her own spark, her own potential come to life. We all have our own spark. It's that tiny, seemingly insignificant flame within us that refuses to be snuffed out no matter how strong the winds of doubt may blow. It's that spark, that tiny, glowing ember within you, that can set your world ablaze with the brilliance of your dreams. The spark within you is only the beginning. It's what you do with that spark that truly matters. Consider for a moment the tale of a woman named Clara. Clara was a shy, unassuming woman who had a spark within her, a spark of creativity. She loved to paint, but she was always too timid to share her work with others. She feared criticism, she feared rejection, and most of all, she feared that her spark was not enough. But one day, something shifted within Clara. She realized that this spark of hers, this passion for painting, was not just a hobby. It was a part of who she was, and she decided that it was time to nurture that spark, to feed it, to allow it to grow. She began to paint not just in the privacy of her own home, but in public parks, on bustling city streets, in places where people could see her and her art. The obstacles were many. There were those who scoffed at her, who told her she was wasting her time. There were days when the weather was unkind, when her hands ached from the cold. There were moments of self-doubt, moments when she questioned whether her spark was truly worth nurturing. But Clara persevered. She fanned her spark into a flame. She used every criticism, every obstacle, every moment of self-doubt as fuel. And slowly but surely, her flame began to grow. It grew until it was a fire, a fire of creativity and passion that could not be extinguished. Clara's story is not unique. There are sparks within all of us, sparks that are waiting to be fanned into flames. But it's up to us to nurture them, to fuel them, to allow them to grow. It's up to us to take our sparks and turn them into something more. Your spark can become a flame, your flame can become a fire, and your fire can light up the world. Imagine a world set ablaze by the fire of your dreams. Can you see it? In the heart of every individual lies a spark, a unique passion that, when ignited, can light up the world. Yes, you have that spark, the same spark that has guided the likes of Amelia Earhart, who flew solo across the Atlantic, or Mahatma Gandhi, who led India to independence through non-violent civil disobedience. Let's take a moment to consider Gandhi. He was a simple man with a grand vision. His fire, his passion was for peace, for freedom. He was not a soldier nor a politician. He was an ordinary individual, just like you and me. But he had a dream, a fire within him. Gandhi didn't just dream of a free India. He set his dream on fire and let it burn brightly for the world to see. His fire was so intense that it ignited the sparks in millions of hearts, creating a blaze that ultimately led to the freedom of a nation. Now imagine what could happen if you too decided to set your dreams on fire. What if you let your passion burn brightly, not hidden away, but out in the open for all to see? Your fire could serve as a beacon, a guiding light for others to follow. It could inspire change, ignite passion, 
and influence the course of history. You are not just a dreamer, you are a fire starter, capable of igniting a blaze that can light up the world. The fire of your dreams is not just about you, it's about the impact you can make, the lives you can touch, the change you can bring about. It's about lighting up the world with your passion, your fire. Every great figure in history had a fire within them. They let it burn brightly, and it changed the world. You are capable of setting the world on fire with your dreams. All you need to do is let your fire burn. But fires, as we know, eventually burn out. What then? When our dreams burn brightly, they light up our world, fuel our passion, and guide us towards our destiny. But what happens when the fire dies? What happens when the flame of our dreams is extinguished by the cold winds of failure? Let's think about it. Imagine a person who had a dream, a big one, that burned like a wildfire within them. They worked tirelessly, pouring their heart and soul into it, only to see it turn into ashes. The fire that once blazed with hope and ambition now lay cold and lifeless. It's a terrifying thought, isn't it? The fear of failure, the dread of seeing our dreams die out. It can be crippling. But what if I told you that this is not where the story ends? What if I told you that the ashes of our dreams can be the foundation upon which we build anew? Consider the story of Thomas, a man who dreamt of becoming a world-renowned artist. He spent years honing his craft, but despite his best efforts, he couldn't make it. His dream, once a roaring fire, was reduced to mere ashes. But Thomas didn't let this be the end of his story. He looked at the ashes of his failed dream, not with despair, but with determination. He decided to use these ashes as a foundation to start anew. He began teaching art to young children and found a new purpose, a new dream. His initial dream may have died, but from its ashes, a new dream was born. A dream that not only fulfilled him, but also inspired and educated an entire generation of young artists. So, the next time you face failure, the next time your dreams turn to ashes, remember Thomas. Remember that it's not the end, but simply a new beginning. Even from ashes, new dreams can rise. Your failures are not the end, but the beginning of something even greater. From the ashes of your dreams, you can rise like a phoenix, stronger and more brilliant than before. In the face of adversity, there's a power within each of us, a flame that never extinguishes. It is the power of resilience, the ability to rise from the ashes of failure, to transform defeat into victory, and to find strength in the most challenging of circumstances. Consider the story of a woman named Grace. Grace was a promising athlete with dreams of standing on the Olympic podium, but a devastating injury forced her to hang up her running shoes. Her dream, it seemed, was reduced to ashes. Yet Grace didn't let this setback define her. She chose to channel her passion for sports into coaching young athletes, inspiring them with her indomitable spirit. Today, Grace is recognized as one of the most influential coaches in her field. What can we learn from Grace's story? It's that failure is not the end, but rather a stepping stone towards success. It's about understanding that even in the face of adversity, the flame within us never dies. It may flicker, it may wane, but it never goes out. The phoenix, a creature of legend, is said to live a long life, only to burst into flame and be reduced to ashes. But from those ashes, it is reborn, rising stronger and more glorious than before. In many ways, we are all phoenixes. We face challenges, we stumble, we fall, but we rise again, stronger and more resilient than before. Life is a journey of growth, of transformation, of continuously rising from the ashes of our own failures and setbacks. And just like the phoenix, we too can emerge from our struggles, not diminished, but stronger, brighter and more brilliant than before. So remember, when you face challenges, when you stumble and fall, look within. Find that resilient flame that burns within you. Ignite it. Rise from your ashes. You are the phoenix. You are the fire. You are the dreamer. And in you, the world sees a beacon of hope, strength, and infinite possibility.